What's going on fellas? Today I'm taking you to NHL 23 Dangle School, where I'm going to teach you 15 different dangles to use in game. First one up is the Spinorama, probably one of the prettiest dangles in the game. All you do is press L2 and spin your right analog stick left or right, depending on the way you want to spin. Next up we got a pretty easy deke called the right deke. Basically, you just push in L1 and move your right analog stick to the right. It just gives that a little bit of a flutter move and helps you get by an enemy. Next up, you got the deke left. Same as the right angle, you're just going to push that right analog stick to the left rather than the right. Next up, we got the jump D. If your goalie ever goes down or in the scorpion position, what you're going to do is just push that right analog stick forward unless you get stuck like this. Uh, next one, we're doing the kick the puck. Basically, it's the same as the jump deke. You're just pushing that right analog stick backwards instead of forwards. This will make your skater push the puck backwards and kick it off their skate. I actually like this move, but it's not super effective, so only use it scarcely. Next up, we have behind the back and through the legs. This is one of my favorite dangles in the game because I think it's just so nasty if you pull it off. Pull your right analog stick to the back and then press L1 and it'll go right through your legs. Next one up, we got between the legs, but in a different way. Basically, what we're going to do is hold the right analog stick and press it. Then you're going to press L1 at the same time. This will make them put the stick between their legs just like this. To shoot the puck while it's between your legs, you just pull it back and then forward and that will shoot it. But remember, you still have to aim the puck. So unlike what I'm doing right here and just throwing it in the corner, make sure you put that puck on net. Move can be nasty if you pull it off. Next one up, we're doing an underrated move where you just bounce the puck off the board to try to get by a defender when you're entering the zone. All you're going to do is ride along the boards and press L1 and R1 at the same time. This will make your skater pounce the puck right off the board. Next one up, we are doing the one hand tuck. Now there's two ways to do this. If you are going through your normal forehand, you just press L1 and R1 at the same time. If you want to go backhand and go the other side, move backhand and then Press L1 and R1 at the same time. It's a pretty easy move to do. Next up, we got the Stride Deke and a Datsuk Flip. So the Datsuk Flip is one of the best looking moves in the game. Basically what you do is you take R3, push it in, and then pull down. Then you're just going to press R1 to flip it. And another cool move you can do with this is push the R3 in down and then push forward just to shoot the puck. That'll change the player's perspective on what you think is going to happen and make them a little bit more confused. Next is the Stride Deke, which a lot of people don't really know about. All you got to do with this one is press L1 and then use your left analog stick, not your right analog stick to go left or right. This is such an effective move, especially when you're playing against goalies right here. You can just move it right over and it's sick. This next one, we're going to do the behind the back one hand tuck. I really think this is one of the hardest moves to do, but you guys can judge on that. Basically what you do is you move the puck to your forehand and you basically, depending on which skater you are, right stick, you press L1 and push both joysticks in. In the left hand, you push them to the outside. So analog sticks in for right hand and out for left hands. Next one, we gotta pull out the boys from Anaheim to show you the Michigan flip pass. All right, so this is a pretty tough move to pull off. Before we do the pass, I gotta teach you how to do the Michigan. So you're gonna hold L1 in, push R3 in, and then move it to the left or right, depending on the skater you are, and then do a full clockwise rotation. For the Michigan flip, all you're gonna do is add RB or R1 into it for PlayStation users, and this will get the puck to flip right over the net. You can also use this move in a bunch of different situations. For the Michigan, you're behind the net. You basically just flip it right over like this, and the player on the other side can catch the puck and shoot it. The other way you can do it is you can actually shoot with the Michigan pass, but here's just one more example of the shot. Gotta make sure you have two players for that. This next move, I'm swinging it back to Patrick Kane to show you the Kucherov. The Kucherov is such a subtle and difficult move to pull off in this game. Basically, the way you do it is you press L1 and then you bring your analog sticks both in and then out really quickly. This will leave the puck in the area, but you have to do it at an angle where the puck will glide through the net. It's very difficult to pull off. I've only done it once, but right here you can kind of see exactly what I mean by this. And the last one you have here is the drop pass. The drop pass is such an underrated move. All you're gonna do is skate up and press R1. It'll drop the pass right to another skater, get the goalie biting on your shot and you're good. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe if you want more content like this or any more NHL tutorials. I'll see you guys next time.